Hey guys, this is uh, Tom from WinRumors.com. Just taking a look at the Microsoft Touch Mouse, which is available exclusively for Windows 7. So as you can see, this is the packaging that the actual mouse will arrive in. So it's fairly exquisite for, uh, for just a mouse. Now the flap at the front here will open up to reveal the mouse inside. And you can actually take the whole top section off. And the mouse will be sat on, it's like almost like a stand. Um, so you can remove it. And we'll get this out of the way. And what you'll notice is it takes the standard sort of AA batteries. Just slot these in here. And it's got a standard cover to go on the back there as well. Now, uh, when you switch the device on, you get a nice blue light there, just to show you that it's on. And on the top, you get a green LED. Um, now, what you want to plug into your computer is this really tiny receiver, which goes into a spare USB port. You notice how small that is. Um, and that will allow you to, to use it in Windows 7. Now the device is touch sensitive, so there's no real buttons, um, although there is a feedback when you click down generally across the device. Um, so Windows 7 will hold, uh, handle any of the gestures, um, and it's multiple gesture support. Now you'll notice on the side, you get sort of two strips either side. And these are mainly just to rest your sort of fun to make it a little bit more comfortable. And you notice on the top here, it's almost like Braille. Um, Feels feels like Braille, but not not quite as uh, as much as Braille. So it's very similar. So now, if we compare this to the competitor product, which is Apple's Magic Mouse, you notice that it's a little bit more curved, um, a little bit higher as well. So it's probably a little bit more comfortable than having your hands sort of flat to the desk, which has been um, has been a bit of a problem with the Ma Magic Mouse. Other than that, it's a very similar product. Um, You've got the multiple touch points across the actual whole whole device. 